It is time now for Trading Nation. Let's all get together and trade crude oil, shall we? It is moving higher once again. Chris Ferrone, technician at Strategist Research Partners, and Boris Schlossberg, macro strategist, BK Asset Management, joining us. Boris, first to you, what do you think is behind the, the oil move? Is it all related to your favorite talking point, the dollar or something else? Well, no, actually, you know, oil has been driven up because inventory numbers have really uh, surprised to the downside. And I think you had sort of a perfect storm. And now with Hurricane Matthew, you probably have another week of uh, possibly uh, lower inventories. And that's really helping oil move up. Oil is actually moving counter to the dollar. Now, the dollar and oil are both moving lock and step. And I think the other reason for why that's happening is because it's sort of a boom trade. It's a bet on the fact that global economy is actually not slowing down as much as everybody thought. The U.S. economy continues to, to essentially run on pace. And that's helping that trade. Um, I think oil probably tops out ar around this these levels because of seasonality, usually at this level, in September, uh, inventory start to go back up, and it's probably going to put a cap on, on the rally above the 50 uh, level. But I don't think it's going down much more. I actually like oil, especially against gold. I really like that Paris trade because I think that's a trade that's going to, um, where you sell sh gold short and go long oil, that's going to stay in, in pl places of trend for quite a while. Okay, Boris likes it. Chris Verone, mm -hmm. technically, do you agree with that point of view, or do the charts say something else? I agree. This has been an impressive move. Let's put this in context. After the sharp move off the February lows, oil really went nowhere for about four months. That was a healthy pause. We broke away through 48.55 uh, this week. That was the key level. We're through resistance. We think we're on our way to 55. I recognize that seasonality is not too favorable over the next several weeks, but I certainly want to look to any weakness as an opportunity to get exposure here. I would also note the stocks here are involved as well, and not just the pure plays. Mm. Industrials have turned up. Rails have turned up. Uh, I agree. That is part of the global demand story. That's a good sign, not a bad sign. And one last point. High yield energy sector spreads are making new lows right now. That is a sign that all the stress from 2014 and 2015 looks to be behind us here. So any pullback in oil, certainly viable by our work. Wow. Bullish mm. view fundamentally and technically. Thank you, guys. Appreciate mm. that. Thank For you. more Trading Nation, you can go to tradingnation.cbc.com. Profits are great, but deciding when to take profits can be very stressful. So to help take the emotion out of a trade, consider scaling out of a winning position. For example, one could sell half of their position for a profit and then use a stop order on the remaining shares. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.